श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम बुद्धिबल यशोधर्य निर्भय अरोगता अजाड्यपटु हनुमत्स्मरण सियावर रामचंद्र की पवन सुत हनुमान की उमापति महादेव की बोलो भाई सब संतन की जय 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 हरिओम तत्सत इन एस्टरडेस सत्संग इन श्रीमद वाल्मीकि रामायणम वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द सेकंड वर्च्यू द वैल्यू विच इज विथ रामा वीर यवान द वैलरस पर्सन इन दैट वी हैव सीन मेनी एपिसोड्स नाउ टू समराइज आई विल टेल यू जस्ट टू थ्री लाइन्स एंड देन विल गो टू द the next aspect of the this virtues so far in all those instances three four which i have uh, explained to you yesterday we have seen rama how is undisturbed in all situations of the difficult situations in every situation he stood stubbornly unperturbed then not only that we must be unaffected by the surroundings also that i told immaculate to be pure we are not get affected by any of standing boldly courageously is one aspect of this viryavan then second aspect is we are not contaminated for that i am reminding again one one point from the three those instances where we saw in the affable easily approachable the first gunavan so here how viryavan is able to keep himself free from the contamination for example with guha guha offered a very very Uh, nice and the very very rich food to rama but rama didn't accept that but he is showing the same friendship and compassion love and treating the guha as his brother so he is following his uh, dharma of the affable to be approachable friendliness but at the same time he didn't become uh, surrender to that food because my wow my dharma is i have to live in forest then i am not deviated from my dharma but at the same time i am doing my dharma towards my friend see these are the two things in the same way with sugriva also sugriva also offered after wali died after he become the king then he asked rama please come to uh, kishkinda i mentioned this point already but i am reminding again this part is called uh, the mental uh, valor physically rama is so valor he broke the dhanus of the shiva and vishnu all these things but here this point related to the mental so that's why i am reminding again sugriva also offered not only then rama rejected i am not going to come i can't come i will live in on this uh, mountain itself in this cave another thing after that rainy season started rama said sugriva now we can't go and search for sita you please go rule the kingdom kishkinda 
and since so many years you are uh, uh, not having any sukham of the their family or the uh, good, good food and the shelter so you enjoy with your wife and be in the palace after the rainy season goes you we will go for in search of sita then what happened sugriva after went to the palace and with all that uh, rajabhogas and all that he forgotten the promise which has given to the rama then rama waited rainy season gone over stop then uh, waiting waiting one day two days three days one week but sugriva didn't turn up then uh, rama asked lakshmana you please go and remind sugriva <laughs> and lakshmana got angry already on sugriva then when anna brother said you go and uh, talk to sugriva uh, i will go now itself i will show my power there what this fellow he promised and uh, didn't turn up then rama said no 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 cool down cool down first don't shout at sugriva he is a good person only see even though he is not able to fulfill his promise on time but rama fulfilled his promise on time he killed the wali and given the kingdom to uh, sugriva but in this juncture a mistake done by the friend okay it is error is a human a mistake will done by maybe so you just go and remind that's it eh? don't shout at him <laughs> then lakshmana went and uh, informed then uh, he, he realized sugriva came running immediately and uh, fell in the feet of the rama sorry for the delay i am really not forgotten i informed to all the vanaras i have already sent the whatsapp message all are coming there are already so many of them are reached here rama but pardon for me for this delay rama didn't show any anger anything but rama he followed his dharma but he didn't get effect okay now i will show one day to this fellow he have no any that kind of idea he is maintaining the same friendship same love so this is called mental valor he not get affected by the others but he is maintaining his own dharma now with vibhishana also rama did everything for vibhishana he he made him a crown uh, prince even before the war starts when vibhishana came to meet rama that time itself rama accepted him as his uh, uh, side friend and he told you are also my brother and there itself yes you are going to be the future king of the lanka war it not it started ravana not it killed so far but still rama this i am going to do it so to create the confidence in the vibhishana's mind there itself rama with his own hands kept the kirita on his uh, because when vibhishana came he is coming like a sharanagati no surrender then he should not come with like a raja and all the items he didn't bring anything maybe after coming to the rama he took the kiritam and kept in the hand now rama kept again so in front of everybody vanaras rama made him yes you are going to the future king see so in this way vibhishana with vibhishana also he fulfilled his desires but rama now one more point here same the mental valor after the war is got over and rama died and uh, kishkin the handed over to sugriva then rama lakshmana sita all are going to come back in pushpak vimana all those vanaras vibhishan everybody that time rama is interested to give the kingdom get back the kingdom and give to the sugriva vibhishana everybody but what about him his kingdom ayodhya and that day bharata came and he requested rama please come back please come back in chitrakuta but rama didn't accept he didn't go this is the vratam i have to follow the father's words and kaikeyamma's words 
after 14 years only i will come now while returning back rama thought of that he has no this incident going to show us rama doesn't have any desire to possess the kingdom and all the riches and the prosperity he is simply a embodiment of following the dharma yesterday we discussed about it what he did he calls hanuman ji hanuman ji please come you just go and see bharata because the now the time is actually what bharata said brother if you are not coming on the dot on the 14 years or the last day by evening i am going to do the agni pravesham that much promise bharata did no but rama if at all because in any case bharata's mind may changed <coughs> he may wants to retain the ayodhya kingdom you just go and sense it don't ask him directly you just go and see what is happening there uh, what is going on in the bharata's mind if bharata feels that and his mind has changed and maybe 14 years over now no he may wants to the, retain uh, the kingdom by ayodhya then i will i won't go there i will be back in the forest itself which brother will tell 14 years suffered in the forest suffered in sense so many wars and you know, fighting with the rakshasas and fighting with the ravana but he should feel that i must go and enjoy my kingdom and all that people are also very much eagerly waiting for rama but rama's concern if my bharata my loving brother if his mind is changed then let bharata takes the kingdom i don't want see this is called mental valor so not if bharata changed then i will go and put it in supreme court or at least i will ask give half of the kingdom Rama didn't say that. If he if Bharata has got the desire like that, happily let him take. I will be retain, be in the forest itself. So these are all the instances. With this, we have completed the Virya Vaan, the quality guna of the Rama. These gunas are not only meant for the Rama. What is the reason we are discussing here? We must be able to practice as much as possible. now itself here itself today onwards okay now so all together now here after whatever we are going to listen the third vachu dharmagnaha dharmagnaha who follows the dharma is called dharmagnaha as i told before many people knows what is good many people knows what is bad but following the good is not possible for everybody unless you are a gunavan and viryavan so now rama how he followed what he says he follows what he knows he follows so for this what we have sung the song in english uh, all of my I, my songs are which i am singing in english are connected to this theme only today i will put it in a different words then i will go to the this dharma gna vachu okay i told already five words i said now we'll sing that no it try it say it try it say it make it and own it Five. No, you try it, seek it, make it and know it. No, you try it, seek it, make it and know it. These are all called traits of the greatness. Traits means if you want to be great, if you want to be called by great by somebody, your friends or anybody, great means you are good, great. Then what are the ways? Traits means ways. How I can? So these are the traits of the greatness. This is the name of the song. And know it, try it, say it, and make it and go on it. Know it and da 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 da. Kuncha kastanda. Little difficult. Okay. 
the greatness not in the outer success the greatness not in the outer success but it lies in the inner conquest but it lies in the inner conquest control the senses control the mind control the senses control, control the mind, mind. that is the only real greatness that is the only real greatness and no you try it say it make it and own it no you try it say it make it and know it that's it simple song the greatness is not in the outer success outer means material success I, uh, I am having good job. I have so much money. I have so many, so much riches and everything. Everything. I have a good name and fame also outside. Every politician also have the fame, but not that. The real greatness lies in your inner conquest. The inner conquest means I simply said senses and mind control. unless a person having this mind and senses control how he can become a gunavan how he can become a viryavan how he can <coughs> become a dharmagnah not possible now let us go to the the third vachu dharmagnah simple meaning who follows and practice the dharma he knows what is dharma not only knowing but putting into practice bhagavad gita starts with the first word dharma dharma kshetre kuru kshetre samaveta yutsavah enough the word dharma you know bhagavad gita ends with the word mama यत्र योगेश्वर कृष्णो यत्र पार्थो धनुर्धर त्र श्री विजयूति ध्रुवानीतिर्मति मम नव कनेक्ट दीज टू वर्ड्स धर्म मम नव रिवर्स इट मम धर्म वाट भगवदी दीचेस इट टीचेस मै ड्यूटी दट साल कीप दिस इन द मैंड मम धर्म what is mama dharma every one of us have got our own dharma so knowing a tons of theory is not useful but an ounce of practice is greater than the tons of theory so let us try to put into practice knowledge is called knowing it is like a like our two eyes if the eyes are there we know the way path but eyes are seeing and showing the path but i need to walk my legs is it not so eyes are like the knowledge and my legs are like the practice putting into practice so eyes are giving the illuminating the path so i know the dharma but i have to walk in the path of dharma no so knowing dharma and following the dharma like eyes and the legs then when we talk about this dharma it is a very very broad sense meaning a word it consisting of so rich meaning you cannot translate and compensate with any simple one english word righteousness it's not enough many sanskrit words there is no equal english word we have to know the depth of it dharma there is no equal word to it but we will explain to you what is it so dharma duty in english simply to say the action which we do which is for the larger community of the people give the goodness that is called dharma naan pandra endha seilavadhu nariya perku nalladhu pandradana dharmam naan seira edavadhu work action vande nariya perku nashtam kudukkaradhu nariya perku venda koncham perku avadhu nashtam kudukkaradhu adhu adharmam 
I will put it in a very simple way still for you to understand. If my actions are making, give, uh, making good for many people, that is dharma. In Vyasacharya, Mahabharata or somewhere, he gives the definition for dharma in a very simple way. Whatever you like for you and should be done by others. If everybody is like this, I, I, I like it, I love it. But if anybody is talking with me pleasantly, I love it. If anybody tells the truth to me, I love it. If anybody is friendly with me, I love it. So, whichever you like, whichever you are expecting from the others, then you do that for others also. For example, still to make it clear, if anybody tells the lies to you, do you like? Anybody? Then you also don't tell the lies to others. That much simple dharma. If anybody wants to hit and give a punch or do violence on you, you like it? Then don't do it. If anybody says some word, he says I will do, but he won't do. He forgotten. You will become angry, no? You said you will do, you said you will come, but you didn't come. Even you didn't make the phone call. Then you also, whatever you say, do it. Don't forget. That means, whenever you do some promise or anything, at least I am not able to do, sorry, due to certain reasons, you must convey, no? This is called dharma. Now, slowly, with this point, we have to slowly come to the how Rama demonstrated all these, uh, this dharma graha, to follow the dharma in different, different situations. Now, before go to that instances in Ramayana around the Rama, still I need to say a few words. One is, to come on time and sitting in the class is your dharma as the student. And this point I told, I think, uh, in the first week also. Coming on time and uh, doing my job and here, what time I supposed to teach you, to teach that is my dharma. In this way, if you think, every person, every one of us are playing a different roles in a day. Is it not? From morning to night, every one of us, same person I am, but I have to play different roles. As a daughter, as a son, as a father, as a mother, as a teacher, as a student, as an employee, as a father-in-law, as a mother-in-law. So many, same person only. Now, if you can justify to that your role from morning to night, whatever you are doing, then it is called dharma. What do you mean by justifying, sir? It is not your whims and fancies. Generally, doubt will come. Then who will decide my duty is like this? As a son, this is my duty. Who will decide? At home, we are three, four are living together, father, mother, son, daughter. And everybody should follow their dharma there. What? Keeping the house neat, leaving the chapels in line, not leaving the coffee, tea cups somewhere like that. And each one to, should help each other to run the house and family smoothly. Is it not? If anyone goes in his own way, now who, what mummy says is correct or what uh, mother says correct or father says correct, or what I am saying is correct, who will decide? We, we can, ourselves can decide? No, never, because if everybody decides their own way of life, then how many heads are there on the earth? Each head will tell differently, differently. This is my opinion. This is, I feel good. Then how to come to the conclusion? 
that's why in families in the organizations even two three people living together in between the nations why this fight comes because everybody put their proposal but your proposal your idea is supporting the dharma or not then question what is the dharma sir yes already our ancient rishis dharma shastras or god already written and kept what is dharma you need not to worry you need not to create now something new uh, ideology already for all the times for all the people in all the places this is what the human being should follow and that is available for us in our country but in other countries they don't have any of these things that's why they go in like animal way animal way but we have it is already said matru devo bhava pitru devo bhava acharya devo bhava atidi devo bhava everything is uh, rashtra devo bhava all that said you need not to think about it whether i have to respect my mother or not let me see my mother is not like uh, looking like hema malini my mother is uh, uneducated my father my mother they don't have much uh, they are not rich no you cannot put any clause there my mother father means my fa fa father mother you cannot compensate with anything whatever they are you are taxed because you born to them because of them you are here so understanding dharma is very simple but same time very complicated unless you don't listen and carefully analyze problems so let me do my duty wherever i am by following and doing my duty i told this point again again we are repeating all others rights are taken care your rights are taken care because i am doing my duty same way you do your duty my rights are taken care as a son if i do my duty my father's rights are taken care i need not to fight for my rights again separately but uh, we people are experts in uh, no 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 i am i try I want to be good and i am trying to be good but he is like that she is like this always you show the hands on the others stop showing the hand there start looking here three fingers are looking showing you why can't you follow put into practice then you need guts there you need all that great qualities in you so by following the dharma great qualities will improve by having the one one great quality you will follow the dharma they go together so here knowledge and practice <laughs> now i think you got a broad understanding dharma means sanatana dharma and the rishis all that okay now you are here in this kali yuga with this human form in this uh, family you born maybe your caste is different your uh, language is different your religion also may be different the samanya dharma now i am coming to the another heading two types of dharma is there samanya dharma and vishesha dharma the samanya dharma means common to everybody this is not only for indians this is not only for hindus speaking the truth everybody the whole world any person following the ahimsa everybody has to do non stealing everybody has to do there is no question so samanya dharma sar applicable for everybody in all the times in all the places but as i told just now my when my role changes according to my uh, status stage of the life place my responsibility will change that person to person one person may be married another person is unmarried 
then for a married person grihastha his dharma is different for a sanyasi the dharma is different for a vanaprastha the dharma is different for a brahmachari different that is called vishesha dharma in this there is no difference brahmachari vanaprastha grihastha sanyasi sir all have to speak the truth ah oh, ma there is no any exception correct or not no 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 sanyasi can tell the lies or brahmachari should not tell the lies there is any option is like that that optionless following of the principles is called samanya dharma then vishesha dharma changes to person to person okay as a wife as a husband as a father mother role same time one day that's why i told that point first okay now first i will remind you again whether rama is following the dharma or not or followed the dharma who declared and who said emphasis emphatically told yesterday itself yesterday only i told that this rakshasa demon marucha told first even though he got two times arrow and fight with the rama and escaped such a demon telling told me yesterday what i told important word ramo dharmahavan vigraha who certified rakshasa if rakshasa demon itself telling rama is embodiment of dharma righteousness ravana don't fight with him don't keep enmity with him you will be ruined <laughs> but that fellow didn't listen no so maricha first said ramo vigrahavan dharma now okay another side the great devotee bhakta hanuman also tells about the rama dharmagnaha we are talking about the point what dharmagnaha where hanuman ji said when he is talking to sita in the lanka in ashokavana that time because to convey the convince the sita sita must convince you know i am the ramaduta i came because rama said she is having suspicion in mirvina maybe ravana itself came in this form to cheat me or any rakshasa can take any form so she had a doubt suddenly appearing there she is already in distress because of ravana's talk and all that so she she must be convinced avangal ulla hrudayathil namika varanam illaya sita devi hanuman ne nammano ivan ramadutha ivan en enak sahayam pandradhukaga da naan irukken kandi pudichi solradhukaga da vandarane sita amma nammina daane hanuman ji kuda pesuva apram that conviction to bring in sita's mind hanuman ji talks about the glory of the rama ravana didn't speak no ravana doesn't know any glory he is actually criticizing the rama what hanuman ji said rakshita swasya vruttasya swajanasya virakshita he protects himself by following the dharma he makes the people also to follow the dharma and protect them rakshita jeevalokasya dharmasya cha parantapah that parantapah the great rama rakshita rama's aim are in for that matter by following righteousness by me what should be my intention contention लोकाह सुखिनो भवन्तु लोक राज रक्षिता जीवलोकस्य टू मेक दिस होल वर्ल्ड हैप्पी प्लेस टू लिव हार्मोनियसली एंड एवरीबडीज हैप्पीनेस ऑल द जीवास शुड लिव हैप्पीली विथ हार्मनी टू लव वन टू बी लव्ड इन हार्मनी rakshita jeevalokasya dharmasya ja parantapa 
strong holder of the dharma that paranta parama has having this quality like this he explains many shlokas many things then sita hey he is really telling about the rama everything and yesterday i told that sita also praised the rama's viryatvam and all that now you connect connect here sita also where before anuman ji leaving i told one or two stories instances and of course uh, she gives uh, some other uh, abharanam also and same time that time she is herself telling to rama imagining in the mind rama you have so many great good qualities you are dharmavan and uh, you are valorous you are powerful everything is there and uh, your righteousness is so great because it's followed with the compassion if the righteousness is very firm what should be the next effect compassionate a dharmic person if you say you must have love to everybody you must have the attitude of forgiving and you must have the compassion if you say i am righteous but i have no compassion no they cannot go together so sita tells all this you your righteousness is great you are so great in the world because of your compassion now when you have this much great qualities why you are not coming and killing these demons who are adharmic who are kept me in captive uh catch hold of me and kept in the vana why can't you come and kill them immediately rama she is praising the rama's valor in front of hanumanji so in this dharmagna hanumanji also certified that is for the sake of sita now in the war field in the war field i am telling third instance a war is going on so rigorously and all that indrajit and lakshmana face to face war is going on and that time finally lakshmana is going to shoot one arrow that time he said one shloka but that is like a prayer that is like a prayer what he says he says there this i am leaving this uh, arrow this should be the final this should kill the indrajit it should cut off the indra's head in indrajit the head if if my brother is a righteous brother if my brother is a dharmagna if he is doing the dharmic war and if i am taking part in the dharma yuddha and my this arrow should kill remove the head of the indrajit it happened they are also used dharmagna because i am the sevak of my brother my brother is a dharmagna that particular shloka i didn't note here the mahatmas will tell if you have any any difficult situation in your life any enemies or anybody is giving problems and all that that particular shloka if you say you will get the result okay maybe i will mention that shloka later to you it comes in the yuddha kanda that that means what it is not a shloka it is a mantra ram uh, lakshmana said that and he shooted the arrow it worked so the point is here dharmagna certified by the maricha certified by the hanuman ji certified by the sita now another of course lakshmana one more important point the real certificate or the appreciation may come from some people some friends and the like but in ramayana we'll see how sita praises his husband and how rama praises his wife sita in what way not simply praising and putting so about her pativratyam about her devotion about her service everything rama if a husband tells my wife is like this then that is great <laughs> no sir what you are talking adella nadakuma sir in the kalathile 
and the wife should say that my husband has got the manu nigraha indra nigra who has to say not outsiders wife should say then it is real okay what i am talking is between the in grihastha uh, between the wife and husband okay anyhow that point just remember that don't think it is not related to me so like that my husband is the ekapatni vratan my wife is a uh, sahadharma charini who has to say husband and wife has to say yes that instances many here it happens rama praises sita and sita praises rama not for mukhastuti not just for a lip service really okay then one by one we have to go slowly that's why i am also slowly even though we started the class late but i will leave you before time okay otherwise madhya pradesh will make prob, uh, sound no then you uttar pradesh will become empty you can't listen i am feeling angry this sir is going talking talking about rama dharma then i am angry sir i am sleepy also sir <laughs> but we will go point wise one by one now where this dharma has to be exhibit by a person first as i just now you all said putra dharma because rama showed from there now we are going to see so many incidents in and around this following the dharma application of the dharma application of the knowledge in the life one is putra dharma okay just now we said matru devo bhava pitru devo but that means the child should know that's why in the small childhood itself that child should be taught this dictums this is true like that the first mother is the first god for the child so this putra dharma in this again matru devo bhava i am talking i am going to talk about that in uh, uh, by keeping the rama the ishvara lord also wants to feel this matru prema that's why when lord took avatara here as rama he has got three mothers three mothers because as he is a brahman or uh, ek niranjan what is there but he also wants to see this motherly love matru prema nothing is equal to that matru vasalyam the lord also eager he wants to enjoy that that's why here while coming to take avatara he kept three mothers i want to relish that matru prema three mothers are there so matru deva bhava now what rama did from his childhood so he is guru vasishta taught matru devo bhava he served all the the step mothers also equally not only to the kausalya he used to do namaskara for sumitra kaiki also and later on all these sumitra and uh, kausalya are still some more wives are there but it's not mentioned in the but said there are so many are staying in that rajamalika bhavan particularly when dashratha decided to send the rama to the forest all of them shouting and scolding dashratha like anything particularly except kaike because kaike only asked to send no go to the forest kausalya sumitra all other those are all very closely uh, even the servant maids who are all in the that palace all are what raja you are how you can send such a child son to the forest you have no heart including those step mothers all even those servants even those minister sumantra even vasishta all of them 
why this kind of decision? It's too bad sending the Rama to the forest. How is a good child, good son? The whole Ayodhya people are wanting him to become a king and you are going to send him for the, to the forest. No, it is not, it is Adharma. So, everybody protested. That means, including, only, only Kausalya is telling, my son, all others are telling. That means, Rama treats every woman in the palace, whether the mother or the servant or the old or grandmother or anybody, as his mother. Rama treats everybody, every male person in that in and around as his father or if they are elders, like a guru and respects. He do namaskara to everybody's feet. So, by this following the Matru Devo Bhava, Matru Bhakti, the Rama showed in many places, particularly in this Balakanda. That's why when uh, Kaikeyi called him and uh, told that your father is not in a position to tell you, then Rama asked, okay ma, if father is not able to tell, you can tell, no. For me, father and you are same. Whether father says or you says, I am ready to go to forest. Without any hesitation, I will go. Nee sonna enna, appa sonna enna, nani puve kadame pore. Enna, enna aichi. Then only Kaike opened the mouth. This has happened. Your father promised to me. I asked like this, boons too. You have to go to forest and Bharata has to become king. That's it. For this, why so much issues? Let the Bharata become king. I am so happy and I will go to forest. For that also I am happy, Rama. Then Rama's in showing the respect and the reverence to the elders and the Matru Bhakti. Valmiki says here, Chakara Rama Sarvani Priyani Hitani Cha. Rama always speaks, he speaks softly and sweetly with everybody. Sarvani Priyani Hitani. He speaks Priyam Hitam. If I, what, if I what if what I have to speak to make others uh, priyam and hitam to them? Not only priyam, priyam and hitam. Chakara Rama Sarvani. For everybody, any human being, anybody, whoever comes into contact him, priyani hitani cha especially matrubhyo matru karyani krutva paramayat yantritaham. Whatever he has to suppose to do to the mothers, stepmother or any mother. He every day sincerely go and prostrate and do namaskara to them. Matrubhyo, matrukaryani, not only namaskaram and then going. He help, uh, may I help you? Ma, anything you want? Shall I bring this? You want any help from me? Please tell, I will do. Matrubhyo, matrukaryani, krutva parama yantritaha, perfectly he used to perform. Sincerely. That's why he never have any bad idea or the any word thought about the Kaikeyi. Even in fact Bharata Lakshmana they talk, they become so angry. Then Rama says, No, no, never say any word about the Kaikeyi. Keep on reminds that. Then Rama. Sachanityam Prashantatma always is in a very peaceful, calm mood. Mood. Mrudapurvam Chabhashate, soft spoken person. Purabhashini. Rama is Purabhasha. Before others talks, Rama itself, how are you? When you have come? Sometimes, no, we don't talk. Let them talk first. Let them wish first. Rama is always a poor of Asha. He speaks first. Why have to wait for them? I love them. I speak first. I wish first. No ego. 
स च नि प्रशातात्मा मृदु पूर्व च भाषते दट नेवर हट बै ईज वर्ड्स एनी बडी एक्चुअली वी हव सीन दट खर द्राक्षस आलो ही गिवेन ए फाइनल अडवैज एंड ईवेन टू द रावण ई गिवेन ओके रावण यू आर् टयर्ड लुकिंग टयर्ड टूडे यू गो एंड कम टू मार ई गिव वन मोर टाइम डे टाइम युवर मैंड मे चेंज चेंज युवर मैंड यू डिंट से You go and take rest and come with full equipment. But the meaning behind it is, you are you may think it. Uchchamano bi parusham no taram pridibadyade. Never speak harsh words. He never replies to anybody harshly. Uchchamana happy. parusham uttaram never then how how much we need that strength to follow all this then another quality i will just complete with this one two points if anybody do one small upakaram upakaram all of you know in all the languages help to drama anybody then drama never forget them He always remember he did like that. He was such a good person. He helped. He did like this. Upakaram, one upakaram. But if anybody does hundred apakarams, hundred apakaram, insulted, talked badly about me, or did something, something, even, even hundred apakarams, but he never forgets. He never remembers them. See opposite. और उपकार पड़नवनी मरकवे मटार राम नूर अपकार पड़नवनी अपे मरंदवार वाट ए ग्रेट क्वालिटी वी नो ना उगर वरी मरक मटे उन्न वासल तेर मटे ना पाक ई वोट कम एंट्री इन टूर हाउस अंटिल ई नवर सी युवर फेस No, all the serial cinema dialogues. Yes. I will show what I am. Where? Not in the war field or with enemy. With mother, daughter, sister, mother-in-law, father-in-law. What is this relationships? Are we here to live happily or to fight and suffer? We have to choose. so with this we'll conclude here but lot of things are there i have to go step by step now matr bhakti we are talking then pitru vakya paripalana that is more stronger in rama he is not at all leaving that my father said like this i have to be like this i have to follow pitru vakya paripalana one by one slowly we'll see all different uh, this uh, is commitment towards his roles in the life ओमानंदम 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 सचिदानंदम ओमानंदम सचिदानंदम ओमानंदम ब्रह्मानंदम लोका समस्ता सुगिनो लोका समस्ता सुगिनो लोका समस्ता सुगिनो ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओ हरि ओम तत्स